I don't know, when you're a comedian, you get asked the same questions all the time. And I think the oddest question I always get asked is, uh, so you're a comedian, huh? You like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be up here if I didn't want to be here. Generally, this is not one of those jobs your parents force you into. <laughs> Never hear a guy up here complaining, yeah, I wanted to be a doctor, but pff, my old man. <laughs> comedy, 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 comedy. <laughs> I was the only kid in Little League with big floppy clown shoes. <laughs> Actually, my parents are pretty cool with what I do, which is odd, because they're smart. <laughs> they're teachers. We need good teachers. I've had some bad ones. Yeah, are teachers here? Yeah. yeah, God bless you. We need good teachers. I've had, fifth grade, I had a teacher who would use big words and use them wrong. And one day there was an eclipse and we all wanted to run out and go see the eclipse and she stops us at the door. She goes, don't look right at the sun. Don't look straight at the sun, you'll burn your rectum. <laughs> I said, lady, I think you're looking out the wrong eye. <laughs> all right. <laughs> High five, up top, all right, yeah. I'll find my own way to the principal's office. Thank you very much. I know where it is. I was at the principal's office a lot because I had an attitude problem. And here I am. Yeah. My parents taught science, which was my worst subject ever. But I got an A on every science project. Why? I had help. You always know the kids who had help because everybody else is walking around with little paper cups with seeds growing out of them and cheap clay volcanoes. I'm over in the corner in a lab coat doing gene therapy. <laughs> Mike, did your parents help you? Nope. These are my monkeys. Parents, if your parents teach, they always try to sneak little lessons to you all day when you don't know you're learning. This happened to me. It's a true story. My friends and I were about eight years old, found the frog on the side of the house, showed it to my dad, and to give us a little science lesson on the spot, he dissected it <laughs> in the front yard. Looking back now, kind of weird. <laughs> but at the time, really cool. An eight-year-old boy with guts and things, it was great. I learned a lot that day. Namely that my dad had a little reputation in the neighborhood after that. It was a long time before anybody's dog pooped in our yard again, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's it, Fluffy, do your business. Ooh, not that house, holy cow. Dr. Frankenstein in that house. My mom was a research chemist. She actually worked on a cure for cancer, which is hard to live up to, I'll be honest. I was calling her from the road. Hey, Ma, how's it going? Oh, really good. We're doing gene transfer experiments with the simian virus, hoping an isolated DNA working a vaccine. <laughs> what are you doing, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the chuckle barn in Toledo. <laughs> I get free chicken wings. <laughs> how's my monkeys? <laughs> Hey, did you know Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Seriously, download it right now to watch, save, and share clips and watch my whole special.